Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Xbox Nut, and uh, I'm just gonna head into Minecraft here. Uh, I've got another video for you guys on my ALU that I've been uh, started. I started recently. Started well, maybe not recently, but I've been adding to it a lot actually. And uh, I've also got a special project project to. Uh, sh oh God, I'm looking at it now. Don't want to show you it yet. I want to find my ALU. So yeah, we're gonna look at what I've done with my ALU. I've added a few functions. Um, I think I haven't I haven't quite finished it yet. I've been working on my extra project, as you can tell. But I have to admit the ALU is pretty big. Um, I also recently added a mod, which helps with uh, frames per second rates because my my laptop takes a lot of damage <laughs> from uh, playing Minecraft while recording and stuff. So I installed a mod because the thing that I made over there really does like to lag the game because of its sheer size and uh, as you can see the ALU is pretty big itself but I can explain why it looks like this and why I've designed it like this um, I think that this type of ALU the whole middle bus, output bus and uh, opcode bus all separate all in a line is really simple but really effective because it really shows you how these things work and uh, shows you the basics of the logic behind the ALU um, so I've got my control room all set up now, some glowstone around the middle so that you can see and uh, output on the left, inputs in the middle, opcodes on the right. Um, I'll give you a quick example of the opcodes that I've already done. I think they're here. So I've done seven at the moment. Um, one was, um, was possibly a display that I was going to put in here, maybe in hexadecimal. Not too sure I'll do that now, I just want to get the functions done and then I'll, I'll go to my other project after that. Addition, subtraction, inversing, inverting, sorry, uh, x and y, oring, anding, and x noring. Um, a person recently on a video, oh god, I can't remember his name, but I'm sure he knows who he is, uh, commented asking if I was going to talk about these other functions in more detail as well. I'm not sure uh, any of you will, well, hopefully, some of you might uh, want to ask this question as well, because it means that I'm addressing it to more than one person. But anyway, um, that was Skype. This is, these are the functions here. Each red line uh, represents the enablers, which chooses which one to go on the bus. That's inverting. The functions are labelled here in case I ever put this on a uh, output, on a uh, file link so you can tell which one's which. I can't remember which ones he specifically wanted to know about, although it wasn't addition and subtraction. So this is the oring. Uh, this is a bitwise function. These in, uh, these repeaters will power the block, uh, power the redstone here, going into the output bus if they are uh, activated from the function's uh, requirements. Oring is literally one or the other or both. It doesn't really make much difference. Uh, if one bit is on, that final output bit will be on as well. So as you can see on here, <coughs> uh, this is the uh, second bit. I think it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so this is bit two. So that will be a two in uh, binary. And uh, if we added one on the bottom over here, for example, uh, let's break U. If we add that, then you can see bit one will also be added. And so the final output is a three. But you don't actually read uh, bitwise functions in decimal. You read them in binary because they're bitwise functions. So it's mainly ones and zeros. So this would just be one one for the output. Uh, it doesn't matter about the inputs for now. We can just disable the enablers so nothing goes out on the top, as you can see. Even though the power is being sent to the repeaters. Uh, this is an ander, as I can show. Uh, let's enable this, and I'll show you how it works. I haven't hooked this up to the uh, opcode yet. The opcode, if I didn't under if I didn't uh, explain it earlier, is the mechanism for deciding which uh, which op code to activate essentially which operation sorry to uh, complete to what's the word I'm looking for initiate I suppose that'll work uh, this is different to oring in that both inputs have to be on for these uh, <coughs> pardon me these uh, outputs to be turned on. I've actually inverted them over here because the way that this AND gate works is just an AND gate. The other one was an OR gate, this is an AND gate. The way this works is that they're both inverted at the final output and they both have to be turned off. See that's off but it's still on. They both have to be turned off 
i.e. turned on from the output uh, from the input screen because they're inverted so they both have to be on for this AND gate to be on if one of them's on it won't work same for here if one of them's on it won't work <coughs> uh, if we turned bit one, uh, input 1 of bit 2 on and input 1 of bit 1 of input two, input 2 I'm confusing myself at least so <coughs> bit 1 of input 2 <coughs> is on and bit 2 of input 1 is on so there's a an on there and an on down there neither of them are activated as you can see because this AND gate is not being uh, is not true they're not both on AND literally in the word one AND the other bit one AND bit one of both functions not one of each not one of any bits it has to be both inputs both bits of the same uh, of two inputs two or more inputs you can have multiple multiple bits AND gates so if you had a three three input uh, AL, ALU I'm not sure if you if many people do that or if it's uh, even doable but if you had that you could still have three three bit AND gates all you need to do is hook up a third input probably to the side or something in there or you could have horizontal ones with uh, in fact I could just show you um, common AND gate you'll see is probably one of these like so not there that's the output if the input one is on this torch is turned off but the redstone still remains powered and uh, input 2 is on, the output's on uh, you can extend this sorry about that um, so you can extend it as I said to multiple bits if you just connect all of the all of these inputs oh, I'm really starting to lag if you connect all of these inputs let's, let's have a 5 bit one just for shits and giggles all of these inputs are the same redstone wire and one torch out it doesn't matter which one it'll, uh, which torch it is because they'll all output the same thing and we have obviously uh, it won't work as well with redstone because that could power two so you have to have some repeaters for this design unless you extend it but essentially you have to have all of them on only one of them only one of them's on there off rather but uh, yeah you've got to have all of the inputs on for the output to be on. That's called an AND gate. Including the name. I'll clean that up later. <laughs> Next is an XNOR gate. This is an AND gate. Oh, final is an XNOR gate. That's all I've got so far. Uh, it's an, it is an, a function of an OR gate. It's, it's just that it depends on different OR functions. So, um, the function for an XNOR. XOR is that one or the other has to be on only. As in, they have to be different, basically. Uh, hence the OR. If one is on, OR, the other is on, but not AND the other is on. With an OR gate, if they're both on, it will still output a 1, whereas with an XNOR, only one of them has to be on. So it's literally OR, just one or the other, not just one AND or the other, which is an OR gate. Uh, but an XNOR means that they're the same, so one AND the other has to be on, OR, one or the other have to be off. So as you can see, all the inputs are off because of uh, I haven't input anything in these uh, inputs, and you can see all of the outputs are on here apart from bit nine because there's only eight bits in my ALU. If some, if the top layer was on, let's put bit three on. Then you can see over here, bit three is turned off because only one of them is on. It's an XNOR gate. XNOR they have to be the same x or they have to be different then i remember he wanted to know about shifting shifting all you need to do is literally shift a bit into the next or previous bit so if we looked at these inputs here if i right shifted these inputs this input would output onto the third bit this input would out output onto the second bit this input would out onto the fourth this one onto the fifth and so on if effectively multiplying by two that's what shifting does. It uses binary to multiply by two because everyone knows binary is in base two, and uh, every bit is two to the power of something. So two to the power of zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. Shifting to the left will divide by two, and uh, you can also hook up a indicator for a decimal point when you're left shifting a one 
because you can't obviously have a 0 0.5 in binary but you can have um, an indicator saying that there should be a 0 0.5 this that covers my ALU work that I've done recently I hope that clears a lot of things up uh, very quickly now I'm gonna go over to my incredibly laggy project so uh, here goes the project hopefully it's not too laggy I will see if I can change anything I don't really th I'll put on default te text back see if that makes anything a bit better but uh here we go it's basically snake for the first because uh people program these things to go hundreds and hundreds of frames back but uh, I've only done about 20 or so and they're mainly snake but uh, it seems to be running quite smoothly to be honest, it doesn't really run this smoothly um, so I'm quite surprised that it's doing it this well when it's being recorded so as you can see the snake gets the uh, the food and it goes and it grows a bit when it gets it and then it goes through the bottom into the top gets the last bit of food and then it flashes on and off three times um, because the guys pause the game and then I try to make a sum I'm not sure if it'll work it says 18 plus 3 no it won't work basically uh, I was going to program in it saying 18 and then plus and then 3 and then equals and then 21 um, but I'm not really sure that's going to work very well <laughs> But yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and my new project that I'll be showing soon, I'll be doing a bit more work on my ALE before I finish this, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, thanks, bye.